So if you guys remember quite some time ago, I told you about a friend of mine who opened up a store called Homegrown Official. And it's like a clothing store slash uh, you can get like CBD oils there and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to go check out. He's had the store open for quite some time. Uh, we haven't got a chance to get over there until today. I mean, it's already like 11, 11. So we got to head out. Uh, I told me there to meet him there at 11 30. So we're going to head over there, check some things out. Um, he's been through like a bunch of different businesses trying to open up this one is like really good the name's awesome too so like we're gonna go check that out see what he's got going on and get some cbd oil because like i told you guys in the last video uh, i've been progressing myself into that to get off like stuff like ibuprofen and just it's just not good for you so uh, i've been hearing a lot of good stuff about cbd oils and and uh the rollers and stuff like that so Gonna give it a shot and see how it works out, and uh, what's the worst that can happen, right? Anyway, this is Kirsch, guys. I was telling you, like, Ew, so the camera's that? always gonna be on, brother. Just so don't be, don't be shy. Look at this fucking craziness. Shit. You got little GoPros and everything. Yeah, yeah. We, we gotta start off simple with the cameras and shit. I don't even know really what what we're getting. Yeah, well, that's what I was. That's one thing I'm getting too is a mixer. That's my next thing too. Yeah, and I picked that up on Amazon pretty cheap. Did you? Yeah, I think that one was like maybe 60 bucks or something like that. There was a ton of different ones. You know, that was like the cheapest one. Until I figure out what the fuck I'm doing, I might as well get the lower stuff. This looks sick. Did you try like switching all the angles and all that no, stuff yet? No, not yet. Dude. Yeah, I had to turn it on. We just, <laughs> I just kind of set the shit up. Dude, but it's such so a fucking have, pain in the ass. different guests on, and basically Derek did this splash. You know, guests will come up. <laughs> Fucking throw a little tag up there, you know what I mean? Oh, we'll, and then you we'll, just go over it. Yeah, and we'll just cover it back up for the next episode. That's fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, it don't matter if you're an artist or not. You know, fucking put a smile on Yeah, it don't matter, yeah. Yeah, he's nasty. Oh, he's, he's like the best. Yeah, this is cool, man. You remember being in here back in the day? When Potts had it? Don Potts? And yeah, yeah, that's what this is? Yeah, this is. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Holy shit. Nah, I do remember he had his car here. Yeah, I know. Obviously, see, this where I'm doing all my own printing and stuff. Yeah. Damn, that thing's cool as hell. Oh, Jesus. Dude, this looks crazy. What the fuck? Oh, damn. You wouldn't even know this was down here. Wow, Holy shit, dude. Yo, how long are you taking to do all this shit? Yo, that's fucking sick. Feds? Yeah, Fed, and then this is Pastor. I don't know who the other guy is. Yeah, he's a fucking beast. He's like one of the best graffiti artists and tattoo artists like on the East Coast. This is what the art world is like in Philly. Because they always ask. Uh, what's it like in Philly? I'm like, <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. That fucking bag. I would be beating the shit out of that thing. What are you going to do down here? Put a gym or just like? Um, yeah, I'm trying to set up a little area. At least for, you know, somewhat of a gym. Get my own thing going, but uh, this whole back here is gonna when it's gonna. Just being set up, it's gonna be my wood shop. This is the dark room. I burn all my screens and shit. So I'll go flip them lights off and switch it to UV light. Oh shit! You know what I mean, it's basically just like fucking a photography. What kind? Of Dude, this the light. How, how did you wait? Like this place all came with all this shit? Nah. Fuck no. Oh. Not the game. <laughs> Nothing had been in this building in like 10 years, bro. I spent the first like two months just fixing shit here. Yo, you're about, you can make my hard city shit? Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, well, let's do so that So I'm shit. burning a screen, I gotta, that's why I gotta cut the lights off. And that's why you keep these covered. So basically, all these screens hiding in here. This is a screen print for the shirt? Yeah, for sure. These are all fresh boys. So these are, oh, these starting to dry a little bit. I just, I just coated these last night. But basically, when these are all the way dried, you can't put them in regular light until mm -hmm. you burn your image on. And you'll just take like, let's just say you want to burn this on the screen. Tape this on your screen, wherever you want it to be, and then throw it on this light box. Yeah. Oh, geez. And I'm still not even sure exactly how it works. Isn't this like the mask? I saw the mask. Yeah, yeah, I, I got, that's a small version of the one on the mask, but that's also the background of uh, Fed shirts. Right. 
but basically wherever the black is on these films is what burns out of these screens so then okay. after you're done you take it in that that wash sink right there and only that part will fall out it's pretty That's crazy fucking sick how long does something like that take to do like that whole process uh if these were all the way dry i could mark it out burn it for three minutes and wash it out probably in like 10 minutes total you know what i mean if i'm just like running through it yeah but last night i also which a lot of other print shops don't really do themselves is i, I remesh screens too so i had a ton of screens that had like tears in them and stuff like that so a lot of people send their screens out to get remeshed what is it just like a window screen like a uh, fine? similar yeah similar to that so here this is like 220 mesh and this is oh, okay 56. yeah great and shit. yeah so it's like different uh like bigger holes and tighter holes yeah. so you have like tighter holes for a more detail and oh, okay, like I got certain, you. You know, certain designs you need that. Yeah, like probably all my shirts are gonna. Some of the shirts are gonna be like one. That's it. Oh yeah. Just one. Super limited shit. Just li limited to one. Yeah. Most of them are gonna be like you know like the brand or right, whatever. Yeah. But like the artwork, you know my artwork. Yeah. It's just one and that's it. One and done. Right. And if you have that one, then that's there's never gonna be another one. Yeah. Like are it. you gonna do some stuff by hand on those? All of them are going to be by hand. Oh, nice. Well, on a shirt, you mean by hand? Yeah, yeah. No, I want to get a, the artwork and then screen right. print it. Oh, and yeah. do whatever this is. I yeah, don't know. Absolutely. It's way above what I'm, I even know how to do. I could draw right, yeah. on the shirt, but that fucking takes forever. Yeah. And then you can't wash it or nothing. Yeah. You I mean, there's, there's some stuff that you can use that you can. Can you? Yeah. Oh. I don't know that. But, like, you can. Look at me. I'm a mess. This is why you need this thing. Oh, so you see where you're pointing Yeah, at? you got to be able to do that. If you can't see. What you're doing, you're just gonna be like, yeah, right. Holding it, and <laughs> then you go back and look at it. And yeah, you're not you're on like, there at all. Yeah, I like I could draw on the shirts, but like I, unless they're gonna like hang them up. Well, no. What I would suggest would be like uh, get your regular run of sh your shirts, and then take out those like super limited ones and add to them, maybe. Yeah, because they're they're gonna be to do a one, a single shirt for like on that. It's not worth it. You know what I mean? Yeah. To make the screen, you know, unless they're gonna pay five hundred for it. Right. You know what I mean? It's it's not worth it for the cost. Right. Yeah. So maybe but I. As far, but to do one offs, I also can do like um, heat transfer type stuff. Oh, okay. Which nowadays they actually have some really good quality heat transfers too, but it's not as good as like the silk screen and shit like that. Dude, we'll come, I come up here and do a podcast with you. Yeah, I'll you know. do my show up in here too, because. So what I do is I just run it through the Mac on Garage Band. Yeah, that's what I was gonna use. But you can't. You're not gonna be able to do that with more than one mic. Oh no. Nah, because the Even port. With that board. Oh, if you have the board, you're done. You're good. Oh, okay. But I'm saying I run it. My mic goes right into right the into Mac. Right. And there's only two slots. It's a USB mic. Those mics are legit. Adapter? Oh, we get the jumped up ports, Jesus. Yeah. The board, the boards ain't nothing. The mics is what you want right. to be yeah, spending money on. He does shit, right? Yeah, I made that. <laughs> what the fuck? But like how, like so, there, people are gonna watch this. I don't know how many people do. You can get a million. You can get a hundred. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you know, fucking. And I'm not in no rush. You know what I mean? But like, I know as long as I just keep doing what I'm doing. Oh yeah, you're gonna be bro. good, bro. Fucking nobody's doing shit like this. But like, well, not around here at least. But like, how can, can they go online and find this or no? Find what? Like, all this, these shirts. Oh, um, on the social media pages, yeah, the Homegrown official social media pages right they now. They can order them? They can order them on there. The website's not done yet, still being built. My problem is I kept changing designs and stuff, and every time I'm getting ready to send pictures to my website designer, it's like I got a whole bunch of new stuff. And yeah. So I got to kind of just slow down and stick to a handful of yeah, different things. Yeah, just put something out there. Right, yeah, exactly. I'm so anal about stuff, it's like... Everything I don't even want to put shit out until it, I think it's perfect. Sometimes. I got gotcha. you. Which is like never gonna be. But then over here, of course, this is a mess. Too. I just brought a ton more shit down here, but this is where all my sewing setup is. <laughs> so this is the uh, this is the big dog right here. That thing's fucking cool. Post bed machine. So this is what the machine you would use to like uh, do sneakers. Like, oh. I, I sh I'll show you that pair up front. I made that one pair of Jordans yeah. from scratch. Really? Yeah. Like literally from scratch. It was like, it was a piece of material like this. One piece of material. Oh shit! Sure. Yeah, and I cut out all the shapes and shit like that, sewed it all together. And you just you don't you just learn how to do all that shit. Well, for that, um, I had a dude actually teach me. Oh, he, did you? he had taken a class, and then he taught me what that dude taught him. Dude, the outside of this place is We're getting ready so to, um, sick. To, uh, what you call mural the whole side of the So yeah, this, this is my first <laughs> pair, but uh, basically I just got the donor pair of J's for the for the sole. 
you know, removed the sole off the donor pair and then mm -hmm. built the entire upper and then, you know, put it back on. Sick to already wear yeah, a few sick. times. Yeah, That color is so nasty. And That's it, a dope summer. And it worked out. I was able too. to uh, flip some pieces over just to get that two-tone look because the, when I went to take the class, he had just had this one piece of material. I didn't get to pick my colors or nothing. Yeah. He was like, basically, I want you to focus on the building part, not so much the design part. I mean, like the colors and material. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can do that later. I was like, eh. Yeah. And then you know, with the CBD, I've been moving that good. That's what I want. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Have you, have you tried any yet? No. Yeah. You're, you're, you're. Couldn't find a negative, a negative comment on CBD in general. If you oh no, it. definitely not. I've. Well, although there is like shitty brand, if you're if you're dealing with like good quality stuff. That's what I was. That's the one thing I was worried about. Like I was doing some research. I'm like, yo, there's a lot of like. Right. I don't know what this that's is. Why, that's why I've stuck with this particular brand. Besides the fact that they're THC free, and I sell this to like cops and judges and yeah. union workers and stuff, where they can't even take the chance on a hot person. Yeah, because I'm union. Yeah, you too. You know what I mean? So, even though like uh, what they call full spectrum has like trace amounts of THC, three percent, right? Like yeah, something like that. They said like you probably couldn't fail anyway with that, but right. you know you're still running that risk. So yeah, yeah. this just they don't have to have that worry at all. Which, you know, if you do have that worry, it's almost like defeating the purpose of the CBD a little bit. You're going to be thinking about that shit all the time. That's a drop? Yeah, this is a tincture. So you just fill up the dropper. It's marked on, on the top. You just squeeze oh, it. Okay. One, one ml is a, a full dose. Got some people that just do a half a dose in the morning, half at night, or whenever. You can't do too much. You drink this whole bottle and you'd be fine. Really? Mm -hmm. So I get for bad fucking migraines. I've always had them. I don't know if you remember that shit. Yeah, vaguely. I've always had bad migraines. Yeah, still, huh? Yeah, this shit will definitely help for that. And they, so like now, they got. I got some medic shit bullshit fucking pills. I don't fucking. I hate taking pills. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So. I don't know, I'm trying to look at doing something else. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. But I mean, I got different ones I was going to show. They come and go, like, they, they come and go in the seasons now. Right. And that's what's good about this. You can just have this in your little, you know, bag or whatever, and, you know, pop a drop and you need to. So this one just came out from the. <laughs> what do you mean? I carry a bag around. <laughs> yeah, you know, we got, you got to immerse once in a while. Um, this is a broad spectrum. So we're like, I was telling you, the full spectrum has the THC in it. What they were able to do with this broad spectrum was bring in a couple more of the cannabinoids. Mm -hmm. So there's still only the CBD cannabinoids, but where the original ones is with a, a MCT oil, they brought in, there's like CBDG, right. CBD, CBDA, you know what I mean? But, yeah, there's all kinds of shit. Yeah, it's like confusing. And what it does, it did, it's what they call the entourage effect. So it's like, you know, with having multiple ones there, they kind of like help each other. You know, yeah. like a little army of CBD soldiers and shit. <laughs> What is this stuff? Roll, roll. Yeah, so this is more for like site specific pain. I'm surprised it hasn't, because my YouTube takes off like crazy. Yeah, I can't even believe it. Now I'm like, crazy. what the fuck is going on? I'll put it. I'll put the video that has like 400,000 views on Facebook, and not one person will <laughs> like it. I'm like, yo, what are these people doing? Yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot of haters. Out a lot of too. haters, dude. I don't care though. Not a lot, but if I can have time to, if I'm getting paid unemployment yeah, for however invest long, invest some more time into that. I'm if I could do video every day, I'll have a hundred thousand subscribers. I'll be make, I'll make a lot of money quick. Is that when you start making like actual fucking like decent money after a hundred thousand? No, no, no. You you start making money at a thousand subscribers, and it really at that off point, what, just off, pay, off advertisers. Views, yeah, the advertisers. But you can make money so many different ways. Like if you have a, something like this, you have a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and you're. You know, people see that shirt and they're like, oh, how did you get that? Where'd you get that? And then right. they just start ordering your merch. Right. So that's why it's real important that I do the hard, the merch, but yeah, like this whole definitely. fucking pandemic I know, I know. bullshit, fucking yeah, it's set everything back, but I mean, the pandemic, fucking bullshit. It's yeah, crazy, yeah. Huh? man. You know, I'm trying to smoke the whole economy over and fucking the flu. Not even the flu. I don't know what the shit is, dude. I ain't seen one per. You remember all those videos in Japan of people falling over and all yeah. that shit? Where's all that? I see nobody falling. You guys see anybody fall over in the street? No. Granted, you know, people are definitely dying, but 99% of those people were old as fuck Ooh. and had some other problems. So I was trying to tell people, like, boost your immune system, man. Be prepared for this shit before it comes. I, dude, I take 5,000. That's another thing, you know, if I boost your immune yeah. system, too. Yep. Yeah, I got all kinds of fucking vitamins and shit. So, from what I've read, like the drinks though, that's not legal in PA, right? Like this? Yeah. Yeah, it's legal. It is? Yeah. yeah. Oh. 
Because I was like looking at different things and I thought it said no food or beverage. I'm like, what the fuck's that mean? Yeah, no, it's 50 state legal. I mean, especially this. No, no, this, yeah. But I mean, the drink, the CBD drink. Oh, um, no, I think it's legal too. My boy Brad, he's got um, like CBD infused beers and, and fucking water and shit really? in, his, uh, in his beer distributor. Oh, I think he might have it in his bar too. I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure it's, that's 50 state legal across the board. But it has to be in those guidelines of yeah, like under got, point whatever THC. Yeah. What'd you do? Sell that house on um, steel? I lost it. Oh yeah? What happened? They foreclosed. I, I don't care. I have the story all in here anyway, so yeah. they all know anyways. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, they, I loopholed the shit out of it. I wasn't paying and then I, I came up with the money, paid a bunch of it to try to keep it and then we're still getting fucking fucked up and doing right. dumb shit. Yeah, trust me, I've been there. And uh, Finally, they just took it. They were like, yeah, you, know, you gotta leave. They just locked the doors and all that shit. I mean, I was out of there before yeah, then. Yeah, sure, yeah. But the way I did it was, I ended up filing bankruptcy twice. Because as soon as you file bankruptcy, it stops the foreclosure for like oh, at yeah. least a year. Oh, wow. So I just fucking probably learned so much from all that shit, dude. Yeah, I bet. I bet. But, so right now, I was thinking about buying a house again, because I'm ready to buy a house. All that shit, man, it's been like fucking six, seven years now. Right, right. So, I don't want to get a house in Philly though, and then for the channel, I want. You had that crib by yourself, like you were young and shit. I'm 21. Nobody was buying houses, <laughs> but it, I mean, I was making a shit ton of fucking money too. I was making almost what I'm making now, even more now. But for that age, I was making almost ninety thousand, easy. Yeah. Just painting cars and doing bullshit. Mm -hmm. I had the S2000. I told them the story with the car. Which one? With the Eclipse, the oh. driving, drunk, and all oh, that yeah. shit. <sighs> that was crazy. They called him up. The police said, it's dude's driving your car drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, yeah, now I remember that. Fuck. There's so many crazy stories like that. I'm like, which ones are you talking about? But yeah, I do remember when that. You, you guys took my car to Virginia. Right. And you let me borrow your car. Right, right. And this was not a fucking... This car had like the big wing and chameleon paint and all. Or did it have the paint? Yeah, it did have the I think fucking. It was all paint. airbrushed up at that. Point. It was airbrushed. It, had, it was like the Fast and the Furious Eclipse. Fucking. It was not. It was something you're gonna see driving down the road. That was yo. I think that was kind of the point why we took your car down there. I think. So it weren't like. Yeah, that's why you took it because my car was in spicious shit. It was an i30 T Infinity. It was just tenant. Couldn't tell it was anything. It was just like an old person car. Yeah. Rich old person, like Donald Trump shit. Yeah. <laughs> that thing had the fucking yeah. curtains. I and couldn't shit. be mad at you because at that time I was probably transporting a ton of shit in your car too. You yeah. Know? <laughs> well, he didn't say that. We'll get edit that part out. Yeah, dude, that's so long ago. Yeah, it's funny, dude, because that was like the last time that I drank. I don't drink. Oh, really? Yeah. Man. That was like the last time. That did it for me. I was fuck. I gotta kill somebody. I was doing yeah. like over a hundred. Through a red light, I couldn't see. The cop, the only reason why he knew, he was like, get out of the car. And when my, like my keys were on my lap, your keys were on my lap, and they fell on the street. So when I went to get out of the car, I went to get out and I fucking just, just, boop, just tipped right over, dude. I was so fucking drunk. We were doing shots of Southern Comfort. What happened with that? I forget. I know he they called. They let me go. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, but I'm like, that don't even make sense. But yeah. They let us go because my buddy came to pick us up. Winky, remember tall, lanky Mark yeah. Wink? Yeah. Kind tall, of lanky kid, he rode a street bike where he had a sign on too, the box sign on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> the cop said, if you could get somebody here to uh, pick you up, I'll let you go. I'm like fucking calling everybody on my phone. And I can't see, so I'm just, I'm like calling my mom and shit. Yeah. She's like, huh? I'm like, never mind, wrong person. Oh, fuck it. My mom was cool as shit, but I called him. He gets there, he gets in the car. He's like, yo, I don't know how to drive a stick. I'm like, dude, you're gonna fucking learn now Jesus that he learned how to drive that motherfucker. Yeah, I bet. I'm grinding the shit out of my gearbox. <laughs> now he did okay, from I think. Once he got out of gear, he's like rolling back into the cop car. I'm like, dude, please don't hit this fucking car. I missed that car, man. Fucking, I lost that car too. Car too. I missed my S2000. That's the one car I wish I kept. I don't give a fuck about any of that other shit. Yeah, but that S2000 car. was nasty. If I would have kept that thing, it would still be worth like almost its book sell value at this point because they don't make them. Yeah, I don't know. All that cut crazy ass shit that we did at that place was. It's hard to explain. Oh, uh, you can't. It's hard to explain. Like, they don't, like, 
It's so like you can, the best way to say it is like Fast and the Furious, but like if I say that, you're probably thinking I'm bullshitting. But like it was really Fast and the Furious before Fast and the Furious. Before like legit real shit. It was it was that that's how we really did it. Yeah. It was, <laughs> everything Except was exactly like, like the new Fast and Furious. We didn't jump no cars from building to building. Yeah, it's none of that crazy shit. <laughs> Part one. Part one. Like the girls, the partying, the cars, that, all that was. We had a stripper pole in the office. I'm about to go out there and weed whack that center strip myself. Are you? I was thinking about it. They'll probably, they'll probably give you a fine for doing that. Nah, well, that's like, like I was saying, dude, that's one of the reasons why I got into the whole like township shit. You know, I know all them dudes now. They ain't fucking with me for nothing. Yeah. All right, brother, let me get out of here. Appreciate it. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah, hit me up Sunday. My mama dog in love. Did you miss me today? You're the best dog friend anybody could ask for. I'm not bad, babies. Where you going? <laughs> so yeah guys isn't that shop just like totally awesome it's just the coolest like if you want to go and get inspired to pff, dog hair pff, pff, if you want to go to get inspired to like create and just more dog hair create then you know that's a place to be like that is just the ultimate just go there and do art things and it's, it's an awesome, very inspiring place, and I like it. So I'm going to ask you guys in the comments what you thought about it, and if you want me to go back there and make another video and get more in-depth, and maybe we'll make the first run of the Hard City shirts there so you guys can see that whole process. I'm going to you know, start working on I have logos and stuff made up, but I think I want to really dial it in and really get serious with it now. So, and we're gonna we're gonna hammer that in and get this merch out for you guys. You guys been asking for it, and I know you guys really want to support the channel and you know, help build this channel and build the whole thing. So, yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna start going forward with that. Forward with that. Have a good rest of your week and weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you all. Peace.